We have been monitoring all of this weather happening across the country, and California is no exception. They are getting ready for a big storm, rain, heavy winds, and some snow, depending on where you're at. We want to go out live now to uh, Fox 11's Phil Schumann, who is joining us live here. Phil, thanks for being with us. I'm not used to seeing you so bundled up usually. Well, you think of Southern California, you think of uh, sunshine and palm trees, although it is winter here and snow is not that uncommon. Usually it's in the mountains, the Big Bear area, Lake Arrowhead, for example, a couple of resort destinations. Instead, we're talking about snow levels that may get as low as 1,000 feet. We're in the community of Yucaipa in the Inland Empire, San Bernardino County, about an hour or so east of Los Angeles. Uh, this is what today was like. In mid-afternoon, the snow in the Inland Empire was steady, but light, wet, and quickly melted when it hit the ground. Still, it got people talking. We've been Southern California residents our whole life, and um, this is pretty rare. Uh, we get a little bit of snow, but nothing like this. And, and I think this is just to get started. It's going to get worse the next couple days. A little bit unusual for us because we don't usually get this much snow, but, I mean, I've lived up here for, like, 50 years, and um, it's, it's really super cold. And I, in fact, our neighbor, like I said, drove off the side of our, her driveway into our yard. That's how bad the snow was. That was from the San Bernardino County community of DeVore. Elevation some 2,500 feet. Not cold enough yet to freeze moving water, but certainly cold enough for the light snow. Though having spent all Thursday here, I have to say it was an unusual weather day. The snow, sun peeking through, clouds, more sun, and then snow again. Reaction? I don't see snow very often over here in California, so it, it was it was pretty cool. For now, the forecast tells us the worst is definitely yet to come. For tourists from Canada, this is nothing. What are you telling them? <laughs> well, they're uh, probably telling them they got better weather than we do right now. The Cockertons are heading from Arizona to Northern California, not what they thought their Southern California vacation would be like. We thought we'd be in shorts and t-shirts here in California, at least at least Arizona, but it's been, a, it's been a little shock to us. So back live here in Yucaipa, Lexi, we're flirting with the uh, high 30s, 40 degrees. The worst is expected to come in late tonight over the weekend. Uh, just north of here, it may be 6,800, 7,000 feet. I mentioned the resort community of Big Bear. They're talking about the possibility of six feet of snow, which, for example, if you're from uh, New Hampshire, uh, or Colorado, uh, that may not be that surprising, but for here it is very unusual. And then there's the fact that a lot of people who are from the Southern California area just aren't familiar with driving in these kinds of conditions. It's very dangerous. There was a 20 car pileup on Interstate 10 in Yucaipa last night. Fortunately, no fatalities. So people are being urged to stay off the roads and stay home if at all possible. Now, people in other parts of the country may look at this and say, what's the big deal? But it is a very serious threat here in Southern California, Lexi. Wow, Phil, that's unbelievable. So are, are most residents who have been in California for a long time, are they liking this little uh, bit of snow that they're not used to getting? Or are most people just, like you said, wanting to stay home and, and stay off the roads? Well, it depends. If you're six and you want to take your sled out and try to find a hill to slide down, it's great. If you're uh, working and you have to commute maybe uh, 50, 60, 100 miles in each direction, it's not. And most people don't have the luxury of, say, taking tomorrow off from work, so that's going to be difficult. Um, you know, it, it depends on who you ask, right? All right, thanks so much. Fox 11's Phil Schumann live for us in Southern California with that update. Stay warm out there, Phil. All right.